Hello, this is RPGLPs, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Since last time I rearranged my uh, party equipment, take a look. This is what I'm going to have for the next area. There you go. I got Realm on Tritox, Strago on Phoenix, and Ga on Zone Seek for the magic power boost, Cyan on Bismarck. There you go. Let's head into Ebit's Rock. Now I cast Float on my party. There's a very good reason for that. Now you step on this, uh, little teleporter switch and, hey, oh, this treasure chest is hungry. Okay. Yes, this guy likes to eat coral. Okay, so what you do is you get into a random battle. No. Okay, here's some uh, new enemies here. Just cast Fire 2 on them. And yeah, attack on Cyan. Let's see here, uh. Where is it? Tyrannosaur. Why not? And use Aqua Rake. Yeah, Cyan's not really doing that much damage with his Tempest Knives anymore. Oh well. Okay, so you you step on those little uh, floor switches, they're teleporter paths. Now you have to gather up and scatter throughout the dungeon are random chests that contain coral. Now you want to get up to 23 pieces of coral, that's how much the guy wants to eat. So once you get 23 of them, you feed it to him and he'll let you through. I'm just going to show you how to get a couple of them, and then I'm going to do it off screen. So, there you go. Okay, yeah, we're back where we started. Alright, here's uh, two pieces. You want to keep track of how many you have. And here's a new enemy, a displayer. Now, I believe you can just use a Revivify on these guys. Check it out. If not, cast Fire 3 or Fire 2. Yeah, there you go. Now, Mog wouldn't be a bad idea to have in place of Gaw. Equip him with the Moogle Charm, so you don't have to fight these guys. Okay, so that's 7 right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around, just continuously step on those teleporter switches, and gather up 23 pieces of coral. I'll take care of that, and I'll meet you back at the entrance. Be right back. Okay, we're back. I got all the pieces of coral here. Sure. All right. Are you going to let us through? <laughs> yeah, get out of the way. Heaton? For boss time against Heaton himself. Okay, so I don't know if this guy. Can you use a. Is he undead? I, I'm gonna actually try and cheese this guy out if, if we can. Use a Revivify on him. I'm not sure he'll die though from that. Oh! Wow, I. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, that's easy enough. He's pretty easy if you don't cheese him out. I actually did not know if that would work or not. You just use fire two, fire three, and he'll go down in two rounds. I mean, he's completely... I mean, he's so weak, it's unbelievable. Anyways, we got him. Yeah, gung-ho, wake up. We just killed Heaton. Well, yeah, we just used a uh, Revivify on him. Huh. Yeah, how are the healing? You've been in bed for, what, a couple days now?
what's going on? Yeah, Strago, why are you taking all the credit for it? We just used a Revivify. The guy was a joke. Now, why Gung Ho didn't use a Revivify, I don't know. faking it. <laughs> so, uh, Gung Ho was just making it all up for Strago to go risk his life. That's great. Yeah, everything's fine. Uh, we already did that, thanks, though. Yeah, we, uh, picked Shadow up already. Thanks, though. Okay, that's all we have to do there, I believe. Let me check in the ship if we have Strago and Realm. Do we? Yeah, we do. Okay, so I'm gonna rearrange my party, and then we're gonna head off to the next area. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I rearranged everybody's equipment. I brought Mog and Locke into the party. Now bringing Mog is critical because I want to be abusing his Moogle charm for the next area. Because, well, I don't need the experience points, so... Anyways, I got Strago working on Bahamut because on Phoenix he learned all the spells I want him to learn. Now he still doesn't have Cure 2. I may decide to go for that, but right now I really want to focus on Flare. And then... I want to give him Tritok to learn the three elementals, and after that, I'm going to have, uh, let's see here. How's she doing on Tritok? Yeah, pretty far away. I may even have to grind just to, I really want those, uh, elemental threes for Realm as quick as possible, so. After she's done with that, I'm going to put her on Bahamut, and then Phoenix, and then I'm going to give her, uh, where is it? Right there, uh, Alexander, to learn Pearl. Pearl is actually going to be key in the next area. So yeah, I'm going to head over there. You want to have somebody with Pearl. So, Just a forewarning, I'm going to go to the next area, though I'm not going to enter it yet because I want to do some level grinding back at Sid's house. Well, not level grinding, MP farming. So there you go. You go over here to Triangle Island, and I'm going to make a save state because I do not want to go in here yet. Now you just walk over here. And here it is, a Zone Eater. Don't attack him, just sit here. He'll use a attack called Engulf right there, where he sucks in a character in, and that's it. Mog's gone. You want to have him suck all your characters in, for a very good reason. So just wait around here and he'll suck you in. But yeah, I want to get, for my MP farming, I'm going to get Strago and Realm probably maxed out for Tritok at least, and then, which will only take, I mean, a couple minutes really back at Sid's house. Uh, and then I probably want to get both of them to learn Pearl. I'll think about it though, I don't know. Okay, and we all got sucked in. And what's this? Yes, this is a little secret right here. It's a little secret uh, cave or entrance. And there you go. That's where we can go in there. Now just to get back in there, you just have the zone eater suck you up again. But that's all time I have for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! This is RPGLPs, heading out. I'll see you next time!